Hello, my name is Andy. I'm with Global Electronic Recycling. And today I'd like to share some information on the best way to package your batteries. We'll be going through lead acid batteries, alkaline batteries, lithium batteries, nickel metal hydride batteries, and nickel cadmium batteries. Aside from our batteries, we'll be using tape, non-conducted containers, and a set of sharp eyes. The purpose of the tape is to insulate the batteries from one another and the container. Here we have packing tape, electrical tape, and duct tape. Now packing tape and electrical tape are the best types that we can use because they insulate the batteries. Duct tape and other types may actually be conductive and short out the batteries. So we don't want to use that. Now, when it comes to choosing a container for your batteries, you'll want to choose something that's non-conductive. For example, a plastic pail or a cardboard box are both really good options. Now, you may want to check with your local transportation department to see if there are any additional guidelines for your packaging groups. So, what I've got here are lead acid batteries. And the way I was able to identify they were lead acid is this one clearly says lead on the top. And this smaller one says PB, which is the elemental symbol for lead. So what I need to do next is to insulate the terminals on each of these batteries. So for this smaller one, I'm gonna take a piece of electrical tape, cover both, so when I stack these on a pallet or in a box, none of the terminals come in contact with each other. For this larger battery, I'm gonna make sure that each of these individual terminals get taped. So again, with another piece of electrical tape, I'm gonna go around the sides, and with a smaller piece, cover the top. Now that the negative terminal is done, I'll do the same with the positive terminal. So here we have alkaline batteries, and the great thing about them is they have such low capacity, we don't even need the tape. Instead, we'll just get our container and place them inside. Next, we're gonna tackle lithium batteries. Here we have lithium ion, lithium polymer, and lithium metal batteries. So let's set these aside and deal with just the lithium ion. Here we have our lithium ion batteries and they come in many different shapes and sizes. Some with the added benefit of having recessed terminals. Now that's important because our terminals are recessed and therefore protected from shorts with other batteries. The same with this style of connector. These two batteries, however, do have exposed terminals, so we'll need to tape those up. I'm going to use a big piece of packing tape to make sure that all the terminals get covered. An additional benefit to using packing tape is we can still read the labels on each of these batteries and identify them. Next, we'll be taking a look at lithium ion polymer. Not only does it say lithium ion at the bottom, but it tells us it's a lithium ion polymer at the top. Additionally, we can tell it's a polymer because of how thin the packaging is. For this battery, I'm gonna use a piece of electrical tape to cover the terminals on the front and the back. Now, because this packaging is so thin and permeable, I want to make sure that I place it gently into my packaging. Next, we'll be looking at lithium metal batteries, and there's actually a clever way that we can insulate these. If we take a big piece of clear tape, lay it flat, we can lay down all our cells and fold the tape over and insulate both sides. The next battery we're going to talk about is nickel metal hydride. Here I've got two examples. This first one is labeled nickel metal hydride right at the top. And lucky for us, it has this terminal with the recessed contacts, so we don't need to tape anything. This other example also tells us it's nickel metal hydride. And what might trip some of you up is that there's contacts on the back and on the front. This is because this sits on a charging cradle. So we need to make sure that we insulate both the front and the back. It's that easy. The last example that I have for you is a nickel cadmium battery. These were commonly used in power tools before lithium. And back here, it tells us NICD, which is nickel cadmium. This has slightly recessed terminals, but I'm still gonna apply some tape just for safety's sake. That wraps up our video on how to package the most common types of batteries. Now, if there's a battery that we didn't cover in this video or you can't identify, just remember these fundamental guidelines. Always insulate your terminals, 
and use non-conductive packaging. Before you ship any of your batteries, make sure to check with your local transportation agencies. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.